Hey, Luce. Amity! In celebration of your return, I have brought you a homemade fairy pie. Oh, wow, that sounds so... <laughs> Good. The ingredients are very fresh. Thank you. You know, after everything that's happened, I'm just happy to return to some sense of normalcy. You can't just barge in here. Yes, we can. We are the Parent Creature Association. Luce Noceta, Willow Park, and Augustus Porter. Report to Principal Bump's office now. And you too, Amity. Mom? The abomination situation. The destruction of detention. The rampage of Grom. These are but a few of the incidents that have endangered Hexide students, including our daughter. So, the PCA has decided... Ahem. Oh, right. Ahem. These three are bad influences and must be executed. <gasps> Ahem. I mean expelled. What? What? Take this as a lesson, Mittens. A blight always upholds their end of the deal. <gasps> Sadly, I have no choice in the matter. Luce, Willow, Augustus, effective immediately, you are no longer students of Hexide. No, but us! Good! Amity! Tell them! Good. Now, you'll be taking double the classes to make up for lost time. Actually, I'm appalled that you're not in class right now. What are you thinking? Right. Sorry. No! Please! Uh, wait! Uh, please, please, no! No! Wait, 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 no. Wait, 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 I'm a... I'm sorry. I was a coward in there. But my mom... Hey, I get it. You're scared of her. But I'm not. And I need you to take me to her. She seemed open to talking things through. No. No, Luce, you don't have to do that. Yes, I do. Willow and Gus don't deserve this. So, will you help me, please? I... I can't. I have to go. Amity, I am so... Not right now, Luce. Everything's changed since you came here. Being around you, it makes me do stupid things, and I wish it didn't. It's okay, I... Uh... I do stupid things around you too, Amity. I think I need to go home. Nada funcionará, a menos que lo haga funcionar. Thank you, little mouse. I hope you and I can become good friends. Don't worry. You always have a way of sneaking into people's hearts. Oh, moo, sister. <sighs> uh, okay, good to see you. Farewell forever. Why did I do that? 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 What's going on? I don't know, but things always get weird when Hootie's upset. Oh! Loose! Loose! Run! <laughs> did you do that? I... I think I did? I think I got a power! Are you two okay? Oh, not as okay as you. Dang, girl. I have a few questions for later. <laughs> I failed you all! I failed you all! No, no, Hootie. You actually weirdly helped me. I'm like a harpy woman now. And I can explode things with my voice powers. But I still failed Luz! Luz, what was Hootie trying to do? Quick, pretend he helped you before he destroys everything. was trying to help me ask Amity out. Oh, whoa. Do you wanna? Mm-hmm. Then do it! Like this? <laughs> yeah, I hear ya. I might be able to help. It won't be perfect, but... Huh? Does it really need to be? Good luck, kid! <laughs> Amity? <laughs> oh my gosh, Amity, are you okay? I'm alright. I was just... I've been wanting to ask you something for a while. 
But I wanted to do it in the best way, and in the tunnel of love, I thought, Amity's too cool for this. I'm not as cool as you think. Okay. Everything is so crazy right now, and I have no idea what my future holds, but it would be so cool if you were in it. So, uh... <sighs> do you want to go out with me? <gasps> no, I was so ready. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you can say it. <sighs> okay. Amity Blight, do you want to go out with me? Yes! <laughs> okay! Why is this still so scary? I don't know. Dang, Hootie, you really are something. Can I, uh, sit here? I've always wanted to enter this brawl. I thought it would be fun to bring home the belt. And I thought I could understand my dad better. But then you joined the competition. And then you tried to mess with that abomaton on your own? And then you lied about it. You've been acting strange all day. Does it have something to do with the human realm? Oh, okay, okay. I don't talk about this because it happened like a long time ago and it's like totally not an issue anymore, but uh... Today's the anniversary of my dad passing away. That's not an excuse for what I did. Like I said, it happened a while ago, so I didn't want to bring it up. He always brought us flowers on our birthdays, so after he passed away, we started picking flowers for each other. And then we'd visit his grave, and me and my mom would spend the day together. It's nice, but this year I am not with her and I don't have any flowers. And when you told me about the problem with your dad, I don't know, maybe I was jealous or just needed a distraction. I was dumb. I'm sorry. <gasps> <laughs> Whoops, got a case of the old jelly legs. I'll catch up. I don't know what rituals you have in the human realm, but I'll help you pick some flowers and we can do something here. Find any good ones? No, not really. Let me try. Ugh. How do you get it to do what you want? You gotta know what you need. I can't believe I didn't try this first. My head's really on backwards today. Now what? Do you think they'll reach the human realm? Probably doesn't work that way, but it's a nice thought, right? I'm gonna fix it, and I'm gonna get a message out to Luce. I'm gonna do something! We already tried burning down the factory. That's what got us grounded, too. If Mom would just hear us out! We can shout as loud as we want, but money always shouts louder. Dad would listen. I know he would. The world is ending. No one will listen to us. And I just... I just want to know that Luce is safe. What do you think Luce would say to you right now? Probably something dorky, but also sweet. Like, how I shouldn't give up and that anything is possible. Or she'd say that I might be scared now, but to not let that stop me because, because every problem has a solution. And everything's been so crazy, we've barely been able to spend time together. And I am not letting the world end before we go on a real date. Whoa, you're right. I would say all that. <gasps> Loose! Sweet potato! I'm gonna take you out when this is all over, Amity. I promise. No monsters, no mysteries, no deadly duels. It's going to be the most mundane slice of life date ever. And it'll be awesome. I know. 
Oh, crikey. I can't believe I just did that. I can't believe I just said that. Oh, crikey. How did I even think that? Come on, Luz, be cool next time. Luz, I don't think my parents know what they're helping Pelos accomplish. Uh, will you help me tell them about the draining spell? Of course. That's why we're here. We? Oui?